So this is day five. Yesterday we added this plane and we added materials to both the plane and the cup. Today we're going to set up our camera, our lighting, and we are going to render a finished product. So we've looked at wireframe view, we've looked at solid view, we've looked at our materials preview and now we're going to move one step further and we're going to look at our render preview so when you look at the render preview it shows you where the shadows will be cast and it's a preview of your finished result and it doesn't look very good we need to adjust the lamp so zoom out so you can see your lamp if you accidentally deleted your lamp you can always add a new one add light and choose a point and then we're going to adjust the settings so over here you'll notice that your object data button became a little light bulb and when you click on it it automatically goes here and you're going to change the power to 3000 and you'll see what the difference is right away and we're going to change the radius of the lamp to 3 now if you zoom in a little closer you'll see it looks much nicer and now we're ready to set up our camera. So to go into camera view, you click on the camera right here and you'll see this rectangle. The camera view is looking at whatever this camera sees. So if you click on this camera, this is what the camera is looking at. And we want to set up our 3D object within the camera view. So we can do that by opening this little menu right here, this tiny little arrow we looked at this before when we talked about resetting our location but if you click on view what you're going to do is you're going to lock your camera to view just so we can move it around and position it the way we want it to look in our final render so you can orbit you can pan your view you can zoom your view and it will remain locked on your object so set it up the way you want it to look and then uncheck it and you can close the menu so I'm pretty happy with this now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna set up my render properties so in our properties panel this whole tower of tools here the top one is all about rendering the default render value is 64 samples the higher this number, the cleaner and clearer your image is going to look. But the longer it will take to render. We're going to change ours to 250 to get a nice clean result. You can change it higher if you want to, but it'll take a little bit longer to render. The viewport is what we see now. So right now what we're looking at is 16 samples. The other thing that you can change, I'm not going to go over all these settings today. We don't have a lot of time for that. But if you click on film, you can set the background to transparent. That way if you paste your image in a PowerPoint or a Google slide or on a website or somewhere, the background of the image will be transparent. Now we're ready to render. So we've set our render to 250 samples. We've set our film to transparent. And we're going to go up to render and we will render the image. It takes a couple seconds and then you have your finished product. If you're not happy with it, close it, change some settings, and try again. If you are happy with it, click on image, save as, choose your folder, call it your name, coffee cup render, and save as image. That image you can turn in as your first rendered 3D model. Be proud of your work. Even if you have little glitches or your handle looks weird or if um, you have a little crack in your cup, you can always start over or just be proud of your first model, your first rendered model and congratulations. Thanks guys. Hope this helps.